As we mentioned earlier in the newscast, the Richard and Helen DeVos Foundation is officially sunsetting. A big part of the legacies of Helen and Rich DeVos, their impact on health care in Grand Rapids. Rich suffered from heart disease for years, once saying his heart was working at 10 to 15 percent capacity. I worried a little bit when I was waiting for a new heart whether I'd ever get one because we were almost at the end of the... My old hearts are keeping going, so a matter of days or weeks, they said. In 1997, he had a heart transplant that saved his life, one highly specialized and one he had to have out of the country. And this led to the creation of the Richard DeVos Heart and Lung Transplant Program. That was in 2010. It is a program that allows patients to know that every aspect of their heart and lung care is offered in West Michigan. Well, Rich's vision was for there to be world-class care. He really didn't want mediocre programs. He wanted this program, this transplant program, to be outstanding in every way. And it's a pleasure to be part of it because it really is. There's elements of research, education, and patient care that are second to none. And so um, Rich would be so pleased. I had the opportunity to meet him on several occasions, but I know that he would be so pleased and so proud of what's been accomplished here. And less than two years ago, the program celebrated its 300th lung transplant since the program was founded. Rich and Helen DeVos focused their vision on world-class health care here in West Michigan through numerous endowments and gifts, and that vision has become a reality with the creation of the Medical Mile on Michigan Street, which serves as a health care hub for Grand Rapids, bringing patients and the best doctors to the region. 13 On Your Side health reporter Elena Holland tells us how it all happened. And when I look around here on the Medical Mile, it's really due to Rich's vision of what could uh, be possible. Once just a hilly street in Grand Rapids, now serves as the heart of healthcare in the city. But it came from a vision, from thinking about what if, from collaborating, from taking that first step forward. Rich and Helen DeVos helped create this vision through their financial gifts and endowments. You can't miss the blue beacon of child health care on the Medical Mile, bearing the name Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. They had that great vision, that great faith and energy that if that was needed, if there was an unmet need in our community, and if they had the opportunity to positively impact it, that they were going to be part of that story. Dr. James Fonner is the executive director for philanthropy for Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. He was there from the start, creating the pediatric care center with Rich and Helen, which he called a professional and personal honor. I think it's uh, hard now to recall a time not that very long ago when uh, if a child was newly diagnosed with a catastrophic illness or injury, more times than not, that child, even in the middle of the night, was put in an ambulance or a helicopter or a car and sent across state or even out of state to get to the services of a full-service children's hospital. Helen of Oss Children's Hospital opened in 1993, but created the current 14-story building in 2011. Here is Helen breaking ground on the space, which Dr. Foner says she was reluctant to name after herself. And I think of her at our Christmas events with, uh, she was never happier than in a chair with a child reading a book together. Since then, the Children's Hospital has earned numerous national awards and found breakthroughs in pediatric cancer. Meanwhile, Rich DeVos was instrumental in the historic merger of Blodgett and Butterworth Hospitals, creating Spectrum Health in 1997. Rich knew that the combined strength of Blodgett and Butterworth could create something positive and really unprecedented for our region. The DeVos couple also created an endowment for the Child and Family Life Program, with the goal to bring experiences to children in the hospital that aids in the healing process and provides normalcy. The program includes child life specialists and child life assistants. It also includes school teachers and music therapists and an art therapist. The legacy continues to live on through their endowments and their children. The DeVos family gave $50 million this year to be split across Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, the Jones Secchia Children's Rehabilitation Hospital, and Pine Rest Pediatric Center of Behavioral Health. They want exceptional care. They want um, it to be an exceptional experience and an ex exceptional environment. And so we've really focused on that to ensure that their vision and their legacy continues on forever. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.